Welcome to Let's Build Something. Today we're gonna build a pedestal for Thor's hammer that lights up. A few months ago I made Thor's hammer from the MCU and it hasn't really had its own home. It's just been sitting on this bookshelf next to my vampire killing kit and a couple of Lego sets and the arc reactors. And I finally decided that it's time to give it a proper home. So I want to make a pedestal. My idea was to have a pedestal in a sort of spiral pattern. Um, so it would look like individual branches wrapping around. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. But uh, let's get started. I started by cutting down some 2x4s and putting an angle on the sides. Then I glued the 2x4s together to create the shaft. Once the glue is done drying, I'm going to turn it on the lathe. And unfortunately, I made the shaft too wide for the tool rest to fit under it. Uh, so I'm going to use a one bias tool rest. Now this may be a completely idiotic, stupid idea, and it might go horribly wrong for me. So please, please don't do this. Once it was perfectly round, I mixed up some 5-minute epoxy and added a silver pigment to fill the imperfections of the shaft. Next, I needed to create a graph over the shaft to mark out where I'm going to cut. Once the grid was finished, I started carving my lines. spent the last few weeks carving this and then I had a realization why am I using my rotary tool when I could just use my router so I've wasted two weeks but that's okay uh, we're gonna start getting it done on the router now
Then I came back and carved over the edges. Now that the shaft is pretty much done, I need to work on the base. And the base needs to be pretty solid. I'm also thinking about putting some LEDs in the center of the shaft. So I'm thinking about putting a dowel uh, through the base all the way up to the top to wrap LEDs around. But that presents another problem where the LEDs someday might break. So I need to be able to get into it to get the LEDs out and switch them out. So I need a way for the whole thing to come apart. But first I just need to glue up some wood. So right now what I need to do is uh, wrap some LEDs around this and then put something over this to diffuse the light. And the way we're going to do that is we have a, a clear acrylic tube here and we're just going to go over with some sandpaper and it turns it into this. So it's not quite as see-through and it should diffuse the light so it looks more even. the number one cause of forest fires? Humans. What's the second cause? Probably drought. But the third cause might be lightning. And as we know, Thor is the god of thunder. So I was thinking of burning uh, this pedestal for its finish. Now I don't want the whole thing to just be solid black, that'd be weird. But I want it to start at the top and slowly fade down. That way it'll look like the hammer is the source of the burn.
This build is finished, so let's talk about mistakes. The only mistake I made is the mistake I make with every build, and that's time management. As I told you earlier in the video, I spent weeks carving out these lines when I could have just used a router. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear what you thought about this build in the comments below. And if you liked it, I'd also appreciate it if you would like the video. Also, make sure to subscribe so you see all my builds. And you have a great day.